for Mandy McKnight, the benefits of cannabis oil to treat her son Liam's debilitating seizures seem almost miraculous. The nine-year-old has gone from being racked daily by dozens of the life-threatening episodes to having days now when he experiences none. But like many Canadians authorized by doctors to use marijuana to treat a wide range of medical disorders, McKnight is worried what will happen when recreational pot for adults becomes legally available through government-sanctioned retail outlets in July. Will there be enough product to supply both markets? And how will medical users manage the cost, which will be subject to the same excise tax levied on consumers merely looking to get high? Read more, Saskatchewan study looks at using cannabis oil to treat children with epilepsy. I'm worried about how are they going to guarantee that his medicine is in stock every month and it's not going to all be bought up by the recreational users, says McKnight. She lives in Constance Bay. Ontario, near Ottawa. Her son has dramatically improved since he began taking oral doses of an oil high in CBD, cannabidiol, but low in marijuana psychoactive component THC, tetrahydrocannabinol. Before we started the cannabis oil, he was having upwards on a bad day of maybe 80 seizures a day, the mother of four says of Liam, who has Dravet syndrome. There were times when we were calling an ambulance a lot and he was actually even airlifted into the children's hospital quite a few times. It hasn't freed Liam from disease, but it has certainly improved his quality of life by 1,000%, she says of cannabis oil, which the family purchases through a licensed producer for $60 per bottle plus GST slash HST and shipping costs. Read more, Shoppers Drug Mart looking to hire brand manager for medical marijuana. Liam's pediatrician has prescribed 22 bottles per month to treat his seizures, but McKnight admits that she and her husband Dave can afford only half that number. And when the excise tax comes into force once recreational marijuana is legalized, that will add to the financial burden of providing a medicine for their son that isn't covered under private or provincial insurance. We're not low income, she says, and we cannot even come close to affording Liam's medicine. Canadians for Fair Access to Medical Marijuana, or CFAME, has been lobbying the federal government to nip the idea of taxing therapeutic cannabis in the bud, arguing that no other prescription pharmaceutical is subject to taxation. Affordability is the number. One barrier to access for medical cannabis patients and any kind of taxation or price increases will affect patients' health and fundamentally isn't how we treat medications from a tax policy perspective in Canada argues Jonathan Zaid, founder and executive director of CFAIM. The federal plan would add $1 of excise tax per gram of cannabis or 10% of the final retail price, whichever is higher. Read more, Canadians could pay at least $1 per gram in weed tax, plus GST, feds. MP Bill Blair, the Liberals' point man on legalizing marijuana, has said his government is committed to maintaining a functional medical marijuana system.